to Boston. Boston. And I look into the sunset. How my Mr. Pink. Someone to see you. Bingy. Mm. Sir. You are worse than Mr. Bing. Uh, someone to see you, beautiful dreamer. Excuse me for bothering your wonderful self, Mr. Bell, but my uncle, uh, Nelson L. Still, sent me. We have reason to believe that evil Roy Slade is in Boston. And my uncle thought you'd like Boston, it being so cultural and all, what with them parks and museums and, and walks on, on Saturdays and Sundays, and it's, it, it's never hot in Boston, you know. Stop cracking your knuckles, Harry. It'll wake the baby. Oh, Alice, what time are they coming? Cousin Betsy's telegram just said they'd be here sometime today. When you're on the run, it's difficult to keep an accurate schedule. I don't like this, Alice. I do not like it. Why do we have to harbor a gunman, a robber, an outlaw? I don't complain when your mother visits. D Alice, you don't understand. This is a respectable house. And I... <gasps> there they are. They're here? Harry. What? Let's hide no. and give them a surprise. Oh, no, no. Come no, on, no, darling. No, please, I, I don't... Harry, oh. my cousin came all the way Yeah, but I, I don't hide. I'm not the hiding fun. kind. It'll be fun. No, She'll I'm not... love it. It'll mean so please, much to her, no. darling. Please, dance You don't for understand. Much. Alice, I... Please... Come in! Don't come in. Don't come in, please. No, here. Alice. Boy, Ulysses, go to sleep. My, this certainly is nice cake. Yeah, if you can pick the bullets out. Oh, I'm sorry if we caused you any trouble, Cousin Harry. Yeah, but look, you see, I, I, I'm a shoe salesman. Uh, how am I supposed to hold a shoehorn in a wounded hand? You're lucky you got a hand. Huh? Roy? It's been a long trip, and we traveled all the way east underneath the train. Train? <laughs> We've seen the bottom half of most of America. <laughs> What's that whistle? What's that whistle? Oh, no, Boy. not again. Not again. Honey, some kind of engine trick. It's a tea kettle, Mr. Slade. It's just a tea kettle. A tea kettle? <laughs> it whistles when it's ready. A tea kettle, it whistles. What else you got around here? Cups that cough? <laughs> Give me some tea. <laughs> oh, it's not going to be easy, but... Uh... I think the city will be good for Roy. I'm taking him tomorrow to see Logan Delp. Logan Delp? The psychiatrist? Psychiatrist? What's that? I thought you said he's a friend. Well, he is, Roy. Uh, you've got to go to work now, Harry. Yeah, yeah, i got to go to work. <laughs> Come on. Bye. I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Harry Let's... don't like me. Alice don't like me. I don't like this funny tea kettle. Well, you just have to try harder to make friends. Okay, I'll try. Maybe, maybe I could shake Harry by the collar till he says he's my friend. <laughs> I made a lot of friends that way. Please try it my way. I promise you'll be nice to Harry and Alice. Okay, I'll try. You didn't say I had to be nice to the baby. <laughs> Honey, I don't like wearing your cousin's clothes. Got a funny shape. Roy, please sit down. Logan will be here any minute. And you already embarrassed me in the elevator. Oh, shucks, honey. I ain't never been in a room that moved before. I was just trying to find out who was making it go up and down. <laughs> Those people did look pretty funny with their hands up. <laughs> yeah, that's my gal. Mm -hmm. Hey, tell me something. What are all them fancy letters here on the wall with them big stamps left on them? Oh, those are Logan's diplomas. He got them for graduating from all these universities. And this is the school where we met. Oh, he's a brilliant huh? man, Roy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a brilliant man. Wow, Betsy! Logan. Ah, how are you? 
Ah. Ah. Betsy, I assume that this is the patient you spoke about with the pent-up hostility. Hello, I'm Dr. Delp. Do you get these headaches often? It's amazing. It's uncanny. In the last three days, I have shown you 739 ink blots, and every single one of them has reminded you of your gun. I think about my gun a lot. What are you doing that for? I, I, uh, I only like Betsy to do that. You ain't one of them funny boys, are you? No. No, I'm your doctor. I was feeling the bumps in your skull. There's a new science called phrenology. What's science mean? Hmm. Science is how we are going to break down your defense mechanisms. There is good in you, Mr. Slade, and by sheer science, I will find it. You are going to walk out of this office a well man. Now, come on. Sit down. Please. Sit nice. Let me have the picture of the gun. Good. Now, we have a lot of work to do. I'm going to say a word, and I want you to say the first word that comes into your head. My gun. I, no, 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 no. This time, I want you to say anything but your gun. Will you try? I'll try. Good. I... Okay. Mother. Nobody. Birthday. Alone. Apple. Worm. Puppies. Rabies. We got a lot of work to do.